The toughest part about fighting is walking into the cage. All the training, the weight cut, all that shit is easy. But walking into that cage is like a whole different feeling. My mind is telling me everything that can go wrong. I've been training for six weeks, 12 weeks sometimes. And it's like, man, I can go in this and get knocked down in like 30 seconds. What makes me step in there every time is just knowing that I'm one step closer to bettering my life, bettering my kids' lives, and being somebody. I've been training here for about three years. We got a lot of good black belts, a lot of good team members. They're a really good place to be. It's a passion. I love jiu-jitsu. It's definitely a big part of my game, too, as a fighter. The ultimate goal is definitely a black belt. Martial arts gave me a peace of mind, definitely. Because I had so much anger in me from just being on the street and like just growing up, watching everything that was going on in my household. Before, I used to look at myself, and I used to hate that person. I used to look at myself and like, damn, man, like, I don't like this guy. It lifted all that. It took all that anger out of me. Now I'm not angry no more. Like, I'm happy. Finally, able to look at myself in the mirror and be like, man, I'm proud of you. You came a long way. Like, you did something great. And I never used to do that before. So uh, martial arts definitely brought me a peace of mind and a peace of heart. Thank you. What's your name? Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. Thank you. I grew up in Hollywood, Florida, but I lived all over the place. 13, 14 is when I started gravitating towards the street a little bit. I was fucked up, man. Like, my mom left to California without even telling us, you know? My dad kicked me out, so it's like I had nobody. I'm sleeping in the rain, wearing the same clothes for three days. You know, I hated everything about this life. I've been in California since I was 17. My dad got tired of me, so he shipped me out here to my mom. This is home now. I have two kids, Amira and Ashton. They're actually Irish twins. They're like 11 months apart. Right. And they get pictures of us. I love being a dad. That's what gave my life purpose. When I found out I was having my daughter, I, mean, I was still living the crazy lifestyle, like doing a whole bunch of like stupid stuff and not really thinking about anything. They just changed my life. That's what pushes me to be better in this fighting and better in life for them. So they could grow up and one day Somebody talk about me and be all like, your dad came from this and did that and changed his whole life around just for you guys, you know? Oh, I got a Can you come my picture? We're in Moreno Valley, about to go up to the top of this mini mountain. I haven't been to this one in a while, though. It's going to bring back a lot of memories, because this is when me and my cousin, when I passed away, Anthony, me and him used to always come up here, too. Wind feels better up here. Just everything feels better. Why I want fighting to take me, I don't really have an answer for that. You know, I'm just taking it day by day. Like, hopefully it brings me to the lifestyle that I'm ready to live. You know, give me a good life, give my kids a good life. That's all I want. To be honest with you, if you would've asked me what I would've been doing back then, I would've probably told you some crazy shit like, oh, I would be like a big drug kingpin or some shit like that. But this is the life right here, you know? I would never thought I would be here. I never thought this is what where life would take me. You know, but you know, you gotta roll with life sometimes and you know, I roll with it and now I'm here. It feels great. I've been fighting my whole life. Fighting to eat, fighting bullies, fighting friends, fighting family. I've always been fighting. <laughs> My fighting style is definitely explosive, well-rounded, and just that killer instinct. It's either I'm dying or you dying, and I'm not dying. And that's just how I look at it. That's what makes me do better. I'm not scared of getting hit. I'm not trying to sit there and sit back. I'm trying to be in your face, trying to make you feel the pressure, you know? It's just very aggressive. He has really good timing, very well-rounded. His last couple fights, they've shown his stand-up improved a lot from what it was by leaps and bounds. Better and better and better each time. My striking coach is Adam Rothwiller. Short, white dude, really good though. <laughs> when I first came into the gym, I didn't even know I throw a kick. Like my fighting was limited and he just brought me like, brought me up from the, from the bottom, like way up here, you know? And it's crazy because I met him 
And then he just gave me like this fire, like you can do it, you can be something good. We got a good connection too. I could talk to him about anything. You know, he listens and talks and give me the right answers. Even if I don't like the answer, he gave it to me. So yeah, that's like my older brother. So I look up to him a lot. Growing up, he had a hard life, a really hard life. And he never wants to go back to that. That's what pushes him to achieve where and what he wants to become. I think that drives him to be better every day. As a man, father, fighter, friend, everything drives him to be better. We work for this shit. And we ain't gonna let none of these motherfuckers stop us. I done came too far. We done put in too much work. Every time, every time we step in there, we gonna show them. Show them that we meant to be here. And this is where we belong.